Hey guys, this is Steve, lead filmmaker at Steve Weber Films, and today we are going to be talking about audio and why it is so important for a successful wedding film. Today we're talking about audio and why it is so important for a successful wedding film. If you guys are looking for a wedding videographer, you need to make sure that he or she is able to capture good audio. They should be able to show you the equipment they use and they should be able to show you examples of their work that illustrate how they pick up the audio for the day. I use audio extensively in my wedding films and it makes a huge difference. It brings a lot of emotion and a lot of impact to the film. I've got some examples. Let's get on the computer and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go. So here I have a clip from a wedding I recently did. This was in a Catholic church and Catholic churches, especially the big historic ones, are known for being big and cavernous. And as a result, they are very echoey. And they're very difficult to pick up good audio, especially because a lot of times the pastors don't like uh, videographers or photographers, for that matter, to be up close. They We have to be a ways away. So the clip you're looking at here is on a telephoto lens, probably 135 millimeters. I'm probably 30 to 50 feet away from them here. We'll play the clip with the audio from the camera, and you can hear what it sounds like as it was shot. As you can see, the pastor right here is reaching into his robe. What he's doing is shutting off his wireless mic for the church. This is the microphone that he's broadcasting his voice across so everybody in the church can hear him during the ceremony. But especially for Catholic weddings, at least in my experience, the pastors like to shut their mics off during the vows. They, they consider this a sacred part of the ceremony and it's something that doesn't need to be broadcast across the church. So a lot of times they're gonna shut their mics off. And as a result, you're not gonna get that amplification anymore. And he takes his voice down to almost a whisper. It's not quite a whisper, but he's, he's talking about like this. He's talking to Adam in about this kind of voice. Adam and Holly can hear him, but anybody else that's in the church outside maybe the front row is not going to hear a word he's saying. So you're going to hear that kind of through the camera right here. Now that Adam's talking, you can kind of hear him but not really because like I said, we are 40, 50 feet away from the couple shooting with the telephoto lens. So he's a ways away from me. So we can't really hear him very well. If at all, you can kind of hear his voice, but not very well. So let's go back to the beginning of this. Let's shut off the on camera audio and you'll notice I have two clips here, one purple and one kind of hot pink. The purple is the pastor's mic and the hot pink is Adam, the groom's mic. I have two mics on these guys because I need to get good audio from both of them for the films to work. And you'll kind of hear that here in just a second. So for this first example, let's turn off everything except for the pastor's mic. And you're going to hear the difference that it makes right out of the gate for the pastor. And then we'll turn on Adam's mic and you can hear what it difference that makes. I'll ask you to join your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I Adam, I Adam, take you Holly, take you Holly, for my lawful wife, for my lawful wife. So here again, you can hear Adam better now, but he's still a little bit distant. He's still not quite there. Um, that's why I need a microphone on him. You can see right here that I've got a microphone on the pastor, and right in this area on Adam's suit is where his microphone is sitting. So I record their audio with one of these. This is my audio recorder. I've got two of these. I put one on the pastor, one on the groom. These will pick up uh, the audio fantastic from close proximity. Holly's voice, the bride, 
her voice will transfer to his mic with no problem at all and it'll come through just fine. The reason I mic up both of them separately is because the pastor is not always going to be this close to the bride and groom and I want his voice throughout the ceremony whether or not he's given the homily or a speech or sermon or whatever, I can pick his audio up so I can use that for the ceremony video. So let's do this one more time. And this time we're going to turn on Adam's mic as well. So now we have the original cameras without the camera audio and the audio captured from our recorders. So listen to the I'll difference ask you this to join makes. your hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Adam. I, Adam. Take you, Holly. Take you, Holly. For my lawful wife. For my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. So it is night and day. And this kind of stuff is very important, especially for a church service like this. Because I'm going to deliver a highlight film and I'm going to deliver the full ceremony film edited as well. So I want the best possible audio to deliver to my clients because I want them to be able to relive their wedding day and hear every aspect of it like they were there. I don't want to have them have to deal with echoey footage, footage you can't even hear, you know, etc. So that's why audio is so important for a church. Let's go to the second clip here. And this one was an outdoor wedding. When you're doing an outdoor wedding, you have bigger challenges. You're going to be dealing with wind. You're going to be dealing with nature sounds, birds, et cetera. You're going to deal with, be dealing with traffic if there's traffic driving around. You need to make sure that you're getting good audio out here as well. In this case, we have a microphone right here. This was provided by the DJ. They had a DJ for the wedding who had a soundboard set up so everybody in the congregation or everybody at the ceremony could hear the vows these guys were saying even though they were outdoors. So in this case, I use this micro or this recorder here. This is a Zoom H4n Pro. This is one of my, the most versatile pieces of recording equipment I have. And what this allows me to do is plug into a soundboard for a DJ using different cables, different connections, and I can get nice, crisp, clear sound from the soundboard exactly what's coming from the microphone that the bride and groom are talking into. So let's listen to this one with just the on-camera audio so you can hear the difference. Okay, so we have some wind noise in there. She's kind of far away again because I'm not up close to them. You can hear them a little bit better because I'm not quite as far away. But I'm still getting wind noise because that wind is whipping across the field. It's going right across my camera mic. My camera mic does not have any kind of buffer on it, so I'm losing that information. So let's listen to this one again without the on-camera mic and just go with the actual audio from the soundboard. Now you're going to hear music going on behind this because this is an excerpt from their highlight film. So it has music overlay on top of it as well, but you're going to hear the audio from her vows much better than what it was before. Working and faithful man to live this life with, and I am humbled by his grace. God has made choosing to marry you one of the easiest decisions that I have ever had to make. I vow to continue to choose you every day for the rest of our lives. So you can hear the big difference right there of how that simple microphone and setup through the DJ works to pick up great audio that makes their ceremony that much better and that much more meaningful. I love creating these kind of films for my clients. So if you are in the market for a videographer, just make sure you do your homework. Make sure you ask them about audio because it's a huge deal. Your wedding day is a one shot deal. And if you don't get it captured correctly, you're going to regret it. Any videographer out there um, that is worth hiring should be able to show you samples of what he or she does, should be able to explain exactly what they're gonna do and how they're going to do it and put your mind at ease and put you at ease because your wedding day is super stressful. There's stuff going on all over the place. You need somebody that can handle it that you know is going to do a good job. So that is the importance of audio. That's why I find it so important. I hope that helps you guys out. If you have any questions for me, feel free to visit my website at steveweberfilms.com and look me up on Facebook. 
Happy planning, and I hope you have the wedding of your dreams. Until next time, see you.